Welcome back to another episode of the most creative running shoe reviews on YouTube featuring your boy Teo, the swaggiest runner out there. <laughs> yeah, you know. And today we're talking about the New Balance SC Trainer, baby. Let me get the vibrator. Alright, now we can talk. I got a pair of shoes and I'm loving the shoes. They've been amazing. They're great trainers. They're stable. Um, they do have they have a lot, they have a high stack, they have a plate, but for the most part, they good money, right? So I figured to myself, what if I took this shoe and I raced in the shoe? How would the shoe do? Would it be just as good as on my training runs? Could I PR in the shoe? Or what would happen in that shoe? So today, I wanna to dive into this shoe right here, the New Balance Super Comp. I decided to run a half marathon in this shoe. So it was me, the shoe, versus the Hills of Central Park. And let's just say, I came out on top. Cause we did, after all, we did get one of these, right? So, yeah, I came out, hold on, let me, let me put it on for a second. Yeah. We came out on top. New Balance, I would say, I don't, I don't know if I would race. Like, if, if their race, their race shoes don't usually spark my interest. Like, those aren't the shoes where I'm like, yo, I really want to try this. In my eyes, the Vaporfly is still a king hill. But right after the Vaporfly is probably the Adios Pro Three, then the, the Saucony Endorphin Pro Three, and like every well, I haven't tried the A6 Meta Speed Sky yet. Plus. But I really want to try those shoes. I'm going to try them sometime along the course of this year. This shoe right here, though, on those hills. Man, I was getting through that race. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Like, I do think this shoe is more than just a training shoe. Or maybe I'm just a little bit stronger than I think. Maybe training in these shoes got me ready for the race. And maybe I was hyped because all the people, all the energy. It was a wild ride. And if you ever, if you ever did Central Park, then you know just how crazy those hills could be. It's freaking torture, like straight torture. It's nothing, I don't know the exact um, elevation that you'll go through while you're running on that, but it's a great place to get, let me let me say this. It's a great place to get in shape. I, I'll take you back. Shout out to my homie, Sean Hill. <laughs> Yeah, 13.1 in the books. <laughs> My running guru, right? There was a time when I was just getting into running, and he was like, oh yeah, let's go run Central Park. I'm thinking like, oh yeah. Matter of fact, this was the beginning of 2022. I wasn't just getting into running, but I was I was just getting into actually doing races, right? And I was overweight, but it is what it is. What can you do? He was like, oh yeah, let's go run Central Park. And since you got into the New York NYC half, let's like run Central Park. So... We ran Central Park, and let's just say I was kicking and screaming the whole time. It was terrible. It was terrible. Well, the shoes didn't even matter at that time, but those hills, they're killer. But anyway, these shoes throughout that race, I didn't feel like they got in my way at all. And honestly, there's something in the forefoot and on this left side. Like, I was feeling, I don't know what's under right here in the forefoot, it might be the plate, I don't know, it might be an air bubble, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I did feel that slightly, but besides that, these things were extra springy. I was going, whatever pace I wanted to go, I was going. So we figured that we start the race around like a eight minute pace, right? So we, we cruising through the eight minute pace, and this everything is super phenomenal, right? The second the second half of the race, Sean was like, oh yeah, let's do um under sevens, right? And I kept, up, I kept up with him as long as I could, about 0.2 of a mile, right? And then I was just like, yo, just go ahead and just leave me, right? But once I hit my zone in the shoe, bro, I was gone. And I'm like, all right, I started to hit the, I didn't, I think I started to hit like the low seven, like I think the, the fastest mile I hit was maybe like 720 or something like that. The shoe still is pretty heavy, so if I had like a Vapor Fly or an Alpha Fly or an Adios Pro 3 or maybe even the A6 Meta C Sky Plus, I probably would have been a bit faster, but man, these shoes held up very well. All right, let's talk about, you know, I like to start on the outsole. 
the outsole of this shoe is pretty it's pretty decent i'm not gonna lie to you it's it holds up very well like you have a, a pretty traditional outsole i think that it grips the ground very nice you can still kind of feel the ground not really kinda it's, it's a weird it's a weird feeling you can still kind of feel the ground i think it grips the ground nice you know in these new york city races there are a lot of people like tons of people and when you hit the water stations, the water, the floor there is basically soaking wet, so it's kind of slippery. These held up very well in that, so I, I definitely would def, I would, I give this outsole a A plus, not A plus plus, like the Continental Rubble, you know, Continental Boys in the building tonight. This outsole definitely has good traction, good traction, great traction, Continental Boys, but good traction, yeah. And that's pretty much it for the outsole. Alright, midsole time. The midsole of this shoe with the fuel cell, it feels like you're running on class. I, I think that, honestly, this shoe might have stolen my heart in terms of like a super trainer. And if you look at it, right, the, the comp line has been around for ages. And I'm talking about maybe, I looked at a, a magazine ad that was introduced in the 990, which was like 1982. And it had the, the super, well, not the super comp, but they had the comp in that, right? So, and that's the, obviously we have the super part here. The comp trainer was one of the shoes that they were advertising. So the super comp has been around for a long time. I think Adidas, in, I mean not Adidas, sorry. Woo! I think New Balance in general are shoes that you look to if you're looking for a daily trainer, you're looking for daily shoes, even to do, that could really do everything that are very stable. They have a lot of width on the heel of the shoe so you don't have to worry about landing wrong and turning your ankles like I used, like I did when I first started running the Pegasus, which is crazy. Anyway, but yeah, I think the missile, they knocked it out the park, it's soft, you bounce along, you just feel like you're running free, honestly. That's, they honestly, fuel cell, run free, I don't know, but the foam is amazing. The foam, hands down, can't knock it. I don't know the stack, I don't know the drive, but just trust me. You'll love the shoe. We, we don't do the specs. Mm -mm. We don't do the specs over here. We just, we just hit the race and we PR, you feel me? We don't do the specs too much. But yeah, if you're looking at this shoe, I mean, nine times out of 10, let's, let's keep it 100. Nine times out of 10, you probably already got this shoe and you're watching this, so you know how great it is and you wanna make sure, or you wanna hear other people talk great about this shoe. If you're on the fence about this shoe, I definitely think this is a shoe to get and I think this is what, $180? So for $180, do I love this shoe? Yeah, could it, but on sale? If, <laughs> you know I love a sale, right? If this shoe ever was to come on sale, I think this is a, this is an easily must buy. And I think after running a race in this shoe, you could definitely race in this shoe. I wouldn't recommend it, it's kind of heavy. Like I said, at the towards the end of the race, when I started to hit the 720 paces, right around like mile like 10, eight through whatever it was, like mile 10 or whatever, going through those hills, I beasted up the hill. I was finding myself getting faster, but I did start to feel a little bit of the weight of the shoe, but at the same time, so if I had a lighter shoe, I might have been going even faster, but this still held up very well. All right, upper time. Honestly, I have no complaints about this upper. If you see this, this thing, it barely even feels like there's anything on your foot. Very much like a sock. The only thing I do not like about the upper is when I walk around in this shoe, there's this part right here in the shoe. I guess it's like where they where the gusted tongue is sewed into the shoe. This right here, at the slower paces, when I'm kind of like or walking around in this shoe, I, this hurts my this rubs against my ankle crazy. This rubs my ankle. This is the only thing, the only my only knock on the shoe is where the Augusta tongue is so down to the upper of the shoe. This rubs my ankle so bad, I'd be so annoyed. But then it's like as soon as I really start running in it and I'm running at faster paces in it, it feels good. But I mean, I love, I love this shoe. This just, this shoe makes me feel like I just want to go out there and run. Yeah, this shoe is definitely a shoe that if you're looking for something to be comfortable in. I think this is definitely the running shoe for you. Now, in terms of, we gonna start a little. We gotta add a little something in my in my reviews. It's a little unique, right? Cause you know we we get a little bit of we put we put some nice clothes on. We get a little bit of fly. In terms of, I mean the the, the colors, I, I really love 
New Balance, great, amazing. Um, in terms of flyness, will I rock this shoe outside? Like, is this gonna be the runner shoe where you see like right now the A6 Gel Keanu 14 is the you can see that on the street. It's the running, it's the runner shoe after the fact that everybody loves, just like the Vermero 5 is that shoe, or the um New Balance 990 series. You could go out and see anybody wearing those dad shoes. Is this gonna be the dad shoe of the future? I think they were close. The end is the only thing I do not like about this shoe. But besides that, I think it's great. And it, honestly, the end should have been 3M. Can we get 3M? I don't know about you guys, but I miss having 3M on my sneakers. And maybe there are sneakers out there that have 3M and I'm just missing them, but let's bring it. Shoe companies out there, bring the 3M back. So in terms of the swag and the style of rocking these and how fly they are, you let me know. You let me know. Write in the comments below. How fly you think these are? From like, yeah, how fly you think? I think they pretty fly. I don't think they're the flyest. These aren't the, I don't think these are, I wear these outside with some sweats and think I'm killing the game. I think those are reserved for the Adios Pro 3. And I put those on Instagram. I put the Adios Pro 3 on Instagram. Everybody was like, yo, what are those? Like, I need those. People that don't run. Like, I need those to just hang out, go run errands, maybe run to the grocery store real fly. You know, because athleisure is in style right now. But, yeah. These are close. These are close. these are still like oh cool. I think that the out of the New Balance running shoes, the 1080s are probably that shoe, and it's probably gonna be that shoe in the future. It's like the fly. Okay, I can I can see you throwing a little fit in it, just a little fit together, you know. But yeah, that's that's what we are. We, you know how we doing it. Um, oh yeah, so I did 13.31 miles in this shoe today. I think. Total wise, I think I'm somewhere like around like 60 miles in the shoe, maybe 70. Somewhere between 60 and 70 miles. I'm not too sure. Let me check my Strava. Do not kill me. But I had did over 50 miles in the shoe. Um, yeah. So do I recommend it? Highly recommend. If you could get this on sale, of course, this, this is an easy go. If, at full price, no brainer. This can, you can honestly do everything in this shoe. Slow, fast recovery, whatever. Shouts to my, yo, my Max Cushion Warriors. This is a great day approval for y'all out there. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do, Max Cushion Warriors style. Yeah. So let me know down in the comments, how many miles did you run today? You know what I'm saying? I did 13.1. Did you drink your tea today? But besides that, it's your boy Tail. I'm out.